and welcome to another course in MicroStrategy's Mobile App Developer Academy. This course is entitled Configuration Links. Configuration links provide a convenient means to remotely configure connectivity and preference settings on users' mobile devices. I'll present the steps necessary for creating config links for your mobile apps. Using the MicroStrategy Mobile Configuration page, together we'll create a configuration and generate a URL for it. For this lesson, you will need access to MicroStrategy Mobile Administrator page and an iPad with MicroStrategy Mobile. This is the MicroStrategy Mobile iPad app with default configuration settings. Users can interact with sample apps and learn more about MicroStrategy Mobile. I'm going to access configuration settings from the bottom of the screen. By default, users connect to servers at MicroStrategy headquarters. You can see the server name, the authentication mode, and the projects that are enabled for this device. One way to get started is for the user to delete the configuration and create a new one. I'll enter some new settings. So the user has to manually type the server address and other connectivity information, then manually type information for each project the user wants to connect to. An alternative is for you to provide the user with a mobile configuration link. The user can then use the link to automatically apply configuration settings. Providing a configuration link enables you to offer a much smoother user experience than requiring the user to enter connectivity settings and preferences manually. When you create a configuration in the mobile configuration page, MicroStrategy stores the file. Here's a look at the XML. I'm pointing out the XML file because this is the same information as what goes into preferences.xml when you rebrand an app. Instead of editing the XML directly, you create configurations using the mobile configuration page, and that will be the focus of the rest of this video. To navigate to the mobile configuration page, open the mobile administrator page in your web browser, then click mobile configuration on the left. Here you can see the configurations that we've created before. I'll define a new configuration, and I can choose from any of the devices supported by MicroStrategy Mobile. There are three tabs on this screen. The first tab contains device settings. The connectivity settings tab is where you specify server level and project level connection information. And the home screen tab enables you to specify what users see when they first open the app using your configuration link. I'll start with the connectivity settings tab. We're going to do two things in this tab. The first is that we're going to provide the user's device with information to connect to the mobile server. The second is that we're going to determine out of the projects available on the intelligence server which ones to include in the configuration. Note that including a project in the configuration does not grant the user access to that project. In order to browse the project or run documents, the user needs the appropriate privileges as determined by the project administrator in MicroStrategy Desktop. For example, this user can view the customer analysis module project on his mobile device, but can't view anything in the financial reporting analysis module project. Configuration links do not change the user privileges. I'll add a mobile server. This drop-down list is just to tell the iPad that it is connecting to an ASP.NET rather than a J2EE server. If you are using a secure connection, select HTTPS from the request type drop-down list. Above, I've set my default server authentication as anonymous, so that if I add more mobile servers, the authentication information will be set to anonymous unless I say otherwise. In this case, I know the server I'm connecting to requires Windows authentication, so I'm going to deselect Use Default Authentication and select Windows. These fields are for supplying default credentials. If I wanted to supply credential information on behalf of the user, I could enter it here. Instead, I'm going to leave the fields blank and let the user supply login information. Now it's time for me to add projects to the configuration. Remember that there are two types of authentication that I'm providing information for, mobile server level and project level authentication. 
For example, even if we were to allow anonymous connections to the mobile server, users still won't be able to access data without being authenticated at the project level. A good way to remind yourself which type of setting you're controlling is to look at the options in the drop-down lists. MicroStrategy integrates with all five of these security types, while these three security types correspond to options at the mobile server level. With that squared away, I'll choose Windows Authentication and again, leave it up to the user to supply their login information. Then, to add a project, click Configure New Project and select the project from the drop-down list. I'm going to add the Query Project and the Wealth Management Project. You can see that I'm leaving out a lot of projects. Mobile users with this configuration will not be able to view the other projects even if they have the right privileges. Of course, a user can still go into the app settings and manually add projects. Now I'll cover device settings, focusing on the iPad. At the top, we have memory limit settings. Obviously, we want to give users as much space for the app as possible, but sometimes we are dealing with limited resources. If you don't want the user fiddling around with configuration settings, you can clear the Allow User to Access Settings checkbox. Then, if the user taps Settings on the iPad, they will see the status screen but won't be able to control any configuration options. You can clear this checkbox to disable annotation and sharing. If you have created alert-based notifications in MicroStrategy Web, you can use this option to enable the mobile server to push those notifications to the user. The Ignore User Privilege Error setting is relevant to something I discussed earlier. Remember that projects a user can access depends on the user's privileges, not on the configuration link. That's where this error comes into play. Suppose you include a project in a configuration link and a user of that link does not have the privileges to view the project on a mobile device. The user will get a privilege error if he or she tries to access the project, unless you disable the error message by selecting this checkbox. If you select Never Persist Credentials, then the user's mobile device will not cache login information and the user will have to log in again if she completely exits the app and then reopens it. By default, the configuration settings on user device will not change unless the user taps a new configuration link or manually alters the settings. You can enable the check and update configuration settings so you don't have to bother sending users new links to tap. And you could also make changes to the user settings from behind the scenes without the users necessarily noticing that you're changing anything. I'll set the configuration to update every four hours. I showed you how to configure device settings for the iPad. The settings for other devices are actually quite similar. Here are the iPhone settings. You can see that there is an option for displaying reports full screen on iPhone 5. And here are the Android phone settings. There are two important Android specific settings. For Android devices that do not contain Google Map libraries, you need to provide a Google Maps license key in order to enable map widgets. Unlike Apple devices, Android devices do not share a standard means for hardware encryption, so MicroStrategy provides software encryption options for Android. Now I'll edit settings for the home screen. The home screen is what users see when they first open the app. I'll demonstrate each of these options. If you use the default home screen, this is what users see. Another option is to set the home screen to display the contents of a specific folder. When you are creating a configuration in a production environment, you always want to set a dedicated document to be the custom home screen. I'll pick a document and show you what it looks like on the iPad. This is a document designated to be the home screen and it contains links to other documents. You'll want those other documents to load quickly, so use this box to pre-cache the objects the user might need. And finally, at the bottom, there is another option you can use when developing and testing. You can create a set of links to reports, documents, folders, or MicroStrategy Cloud. I'll display a single document as the home screen. 
then name and save the configuration. Back at the main mobile configuration page, there is a list of all the configurations on the server. The configuration I just created is at the bottom of this list. And now I'm going to generate the URL for the configuration so I can share it with other users. The authentication type is Windows. I'm going to click Generate URL so I can copy and paste the URL. When generating URLs for Android configurations, always remember to select the Use Short URL checkbox so that the links will work properly for Android devices. In this course, you learned how to create configurations and send them to mobile users. And that's a wrap for this MATA course on Configuration Links.